What's up guys, King in the North here, back with some more Dark Souls 2. Last episode we started our journey through the Shaded Woods. Uh, it took a little bit longer than I expected, so this episode we'll be going after the boss. Uh, last episode I got a little frustrated and heated and said something very rude about the developer of the invisible enemies, so I apologize for that. Uh, I was just uh, fired up and uh, just, you know... Got a little angry and said something it was very unfair uh i mean at the end of the day it's not your fault that you were born without creativity <clears throat> so before going to the boss we're going to head on down and grab our npc down here i did go around and smash all the pots but i didn't have to do all that all over again um can i jump up here or Alright, I can. I don't think I needed to do that. I just don't know if there's an invisible wall. Alright, so we're just gonna head on down. See, this is what I mean. We had, uh, in, you know, enemies that just were invisible in a forest, and then you get something like this masterpiece here. So we currently can't talk to him until we equip our uh, Ring of Whispers. Can hear the voice of those. Human, are we? This is no place for you. Be gone. Are you not afraid of me? Humans rarely come here. Those who do turn back when they see me or make an attempt on my life. But you are different. We once had a master. He created us long, long, but he was born with a fatal flaw. He resented those who had what he lacked and became fully mired in hatred. Eventually, he drove himself. It was at the peak of this madness that he conjured up we strange creatures. Our master was a tragically lonely soul. Eventually, his solitude... In the end, he never understood what it was that he... Nobody knows when we were or where our master has gone. The only ones who even speak a human tongue are myself. I wish to ask a favor of you. I want you to kill my betrothed. Once, I always found her at my side. But as time, she became violent, raging, uncontrolled. Eventually, she came after me. And we have been locked in combat ever since. We seem to be at a standstill. I was born of my master's madness. Perhaps this is some curse. I will be sure to assist you in return. The past is a... My name was Tark. The past... My name was Tark. Alright, so... You're done with him. Go and talk to... We'll, we'll go head to the boss. To find his sign. I think he's probably one of the cooler looking NPCs of the game. I know uh, Dark Souls 2 gets a little bit of a rap for having uh, most of the, your bosses and enemies looking mostly like uh, humanoids, I guess we'll say. Just, you know, people running around in armor. Uh, I think um, Scorpion NPC is a pretty badass looking guy. It's I know it's similar to... Um, uh, Quaylag was a spider in the first one with the female top. Oh, I, I remember you. Don't you scare me like that. I thought you were him. That bastard with a ring. 
lives in Brightstone Cove, Daniel. I'm gonna find him and settle the score. No. For the good of the world and for my own honor. I won't let that bastard live another day. <laughs> for the good of the world, I won't let that bastard. Okay, so he's done. Uh grab that. Walk off here. I heard like growling. Not sure what that was. <clears throat> Gonna head back here. Using effigy here. I think I got cursed earlier with one of the pots. Yeah, there we go. Man, Scorpion Tark. Summon him into the combat for it. <clears throat> right. Let's do this thing. Tim and his uh, him versus woman here. <clears throat> heard that this little brick platform here is actually like a safe spot <clears throat> for when she burrows underground. I must have uh, really pissed her off with some of these hits. She does not seem interested in her husband anymore. Knocked off one of the tails, nice. That is a, a classic Dark Souls uh, mechanic. Knocking off tails of bosses and larger enemies like dragons and stuff, that's pretty cool. So she's going around right now. Kind of want to stay near uh, Man Scorpion here. I wonder if I can knock off the other tail. Now, I, I know, like, the other thing, too, is with the, uh, the other Dark Souls games, when you knock off tails, usually they become weapons. But here, I just knocked her tail off, and I didn't drop anything, so... But, pretty cool boss fight. Got her soul. There's an item up there. I'm guessing I needed to use her to knock that down. I'm not going to worry about it, though. of pharaohs okay <clears throat> all right is that an elephant man's got a lot of health Kind of deep water here. It's not a 
the wheel and dealing dude, is it? It looks like it might be him. Got his suit. Oh shit. Is that him? Oh, that's not. Fuck. I mean, he was chilling up there. I, I figured he was an enemy. Oh, here he is. All right. No better now. Life gem. Did his inventory change at all? All right, I already have that ring. Okay, he's got. Okay, so poison arrows I could buy infinitely now. Nice. They're pretty expensive, but they're poison arrows. What if I talk to him? Alright, Gavlin. Alright. So, down here. Protect in this chest. It better be something good. Uh, dragon charm. Over here, I saw when I was walking up the stairs, prison stone. And a bonfire. It looks like another hallway there. And I know Gavlin had a stairwell leading up above him. So I'm going to light this and head back to Majula, spend these souls. For now, guys, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Peace.